What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are in one of my favorite cities in all of Taiwan, this is Jai City. In my opinion, some of the best Taiwanese food in the whole island can be found here in Jai. So today we are taking you to potentially one of the most famous restaurants in the whole city and we are going to be trying their famous dish of fish head soup. So I have been waiting for this for a long time and I am super pumped and we are hungry so let's go eat. All right guys, this is the spot right here, deep in the night market here in Jai City. And this spot has been open since 1956, so over 60 years old. And you can already see there's a line forming out front. And that is all for their super popular fish head soup. So let's go inside, check the kitchen out, and see how they make this dish. Okay, so we are in the back kitchen now seeing how they make the very popular fish head soup and I'm standing right next to this massive cauldron of pork bones that is going to be the stock for the fish head soup. So this just smells already incredible. So I guess it's pretty plain. They just mix in the bones with some water, boil it away for countless hours and then they mix in the rest of the ingredients. So let's go see what else the kitchen has to offer. So the next stage is to soak the fish for a few hours. So they use a specific type of fish, it's called a big silver carp. And they've trialed several different kinds and they've found that this fish cooks the best when deep fried, it becomes the most tender. Some other fish will become too chewy. And just check out all of this fish here. You can see this is kind of the sliced fish fillets. And then over here we have a ton of the fish head. So this just looks incredible. And then there's a couple more steps, so let me show you that next. So the next step they do is to bread the fish head and the fish meat, and then the final step is to deep fry it. And you can see behind me, they are just pounding these out. There's so many. They have five massive deep fryers, and she just told us that they are producing almost a thousand of these deep fried fish heads a day. That is just a ridiculous amount. It is extremely hot in here, but this kitchen is just fabulous. It's incredible to watch them at work here. So we were just in the back kitchen and now we have come to the front where they are preparing the actual soup. So they are serving a ton of customers and guys, I cannot get over this. Just check this out, there is mountains of deep fried fish heads here.
捏个豆腐层，等一下让它。Okay, we just finished watching her prepare, honestly, the most spectacular preparation of any dish that I've ever seen in my entire life. So this massive pot here will be feeding a hundred people. So this is the soup that will be poured on top of the deep fried fish head. And she's going to be making a lot more than just one of these tonight. And there is a ton of ingredients in there, but I'll try to remember all of them so I can walk you through this spectacular looking fish head soup. So the first thing she started with was that same pork bones broth that we saw out back. So it had a really milky consistency to it. Then she put a mixture of all kinds of different um, ingredients in. It was some garlic, some mini shrimp, um, some chili, and a lot of green onion. And then after that she put some very thinly sliced pork belly you can see in there and then she put a ton of tofu and then after that she topped it with a ton of this tofu skin deep fried tofu skin and there's also some wood ear mushrooms in here and then also the most cabbage I have ever seen in one place at one time it must have been so many pounds of cabbage going in on top of this and then one very interesting ingredient as you can see here a lot of these little orange kind of speckles those are tiger lilies, so actually a flower. And I'm sure I'm forgetting some ingredients, but let me tell you, this just smells absolutely incredible and we are totally ready to go inside and try it out now. So we are finally sitting down and I am so excited right now to be devouring all these beautiful looking Taiwanese dishes. So obviously the centerpiece of this table is this beauty right here, the signature dish, the massive pot of deep fried uh, fish head soup. So all of those wonderful ingredients we saw her put in outside in the massive cauldron are all topped on top of this beautiful looking deep fried fish head and that just smells incredible. Over here we have our side dishes. We've got some bitter melon. Back here we've got some eggplant served with some dark soy sauce. This is an interesting dish right here. This is actually the top of the mouth of a pig and then served with that dark soy sauce and ginger. And then we've got some asparagus served with mayonnaise. Over here we've got a couple more dishes. This is another soup but instead of the fish head this is just the fish chunk. And you can see the special ingredient that she added last is the sacha sauce or the Taiwanese barbecue barbecue spicy fermented soybean sauce and it's kind of made an oil on top and there's a huge chunk of deep fried fish there. Then the Jai famous dish is the Ji Ro Fan which is chicken rice so minced chicken on top of rice and then another famous dish she actually mentioned that this is the original dish of the restaurant and this is kind of an egg soup with some shrimp in there and she kind of like shallow boiled this egg with the shrimp and then mix it with some broth with just a couple simple ingredients, some green onions. And man, let me tell you, this just looks like the most incredible meal ever. I'm totally ready to dig it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the original dish of the restaurant. This is the Tong Ming Dan, which means smart egg. And this is really cool looking dish. So let's kind of just break in to this egg right here and get a chunk. And then we'll put that over into my bowl here with the shrimp and let me get a little bit more broth and let's try that. I'm gonna go in for some egg, some broth and the shrimp. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's actually celery in there. I thought it was green onions but the celery is actually really nice with it. That's a nice meaty shrimp. And then that egg yolk is still creamy. It's not overpowering, it's just a little bit salty. That's really nice. Let's try this eggplant next, served with some dark soy sauce. Eggplant is one of my favorites. Mm. Oh yeah, served cold. It's a little bit fruity, a little bit salty from that soy sauce, but really juicy, meaty eggplant. Let's try this bitter melon next. And I'm not even sure if this is cooked. It feels nice and crisp. Oh. Mm. And that lives up to the name. Extremely bitter, really juicy, and kind of tart as well. Oh man, that's really bitter. Next up is the asparagus with some mayonnaise. Let's try a piece of that. Well, again, nice and crisp. 
Kind of tastes like cucumber almost. Okay, last side dish is the roof of the pork mouth, which is a really interesting ingredient I've never actually tried before. So it's served with some wasabi and some ginger. So let's get some ginger, a nice big piece. And that is like up here on the roof of your mouth. So that's very interesting. Let's try it. Mm. Oh, it's actually not as chewy as I thought. That wasabi is spicy, and that ginger is also a little bit spicy. It doesn't have much of a taste, it's kind of bland, but nice with that ginger. Next up is the famous dish here in Jai. This is the chicken rice. These nice pieces of tender chicken on top, and then it's kind of a mix of some spices and the juices of the chicken, which make the sauce on top of that rice. So let's grab a nice big piece of that. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that's a good chicken rice. It's actually a little bit spicy. I can taste some black pepper in there, but that is a famous dish here in Jai, the most famous dish for a reason. That chicken is just so tender. Next up is this beautiful looking bowl of deep fried fish, a massive piece of that silver carp, and then this almost looks like a curry broth but that is the broth that she made based on those pork bones, but then a ton of extra ingredients. And then on top of that, we have that sacha sauce. So let's just try the broth first. Oh man. Oh, oh wow. That is actually like nothing I've ever tasted before. It has such a complex flavor profile. You can definitely taste some spice from that barbecue sauce, but it's also a little bit sweet, not too salty, and it doesn't have a seafood flavor whatsoever. I'm imagining that this has soaked up that broth quite nicely, and oh man, that feels nice and firm actually break off a piece and it's actually quite crispy on the outside. You can see that batter is sticking on nicely. So there, I've got a nice piece of fish. Let's try that. Oh man. Oh. Last but certainly not least is the massive pot of the fish head soup, the signature dish here. And there is just so much ingredients as I explained earlier. It looks like she's topped it with some cilantro at the end. And I think I'm just gonna have to go in straight for the fish head. So she told me that the best piece of meat is kind of hidden underneath the jawbone behind the cheek. So let me dig in and get that. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's just so natural, pure flavor. Oh, and then afterwards, you start to get hints of all of those ingredients. We just gotta dig further into this stew to just get the full effect of all of these ingredients working together. Okay, I'm gonna get a big scoop of as much ingredients as I can. I know I'm not gonna be able to get everything in one bite, but that should be a good attempt. And I can see some pork belly in there, that deep fried. Uh, tofu skin, big pieces of tofu, and let's get a little bit more of that broth where all the magic's happening, coming from that rich, creamy broth, and let's try that. Oh, all of those ingredients soak the flavor of that broth up really well. The tofu, the tofu skin, they're just completely saturated with the flavor of that broth. Which mainly is that key ingredient, the sacha sauce, which is the barbecue spicy fermented bean paste. Okay, we are working on all of the dishes here. We have a lot to eat, but that's okay because everything here is absolutely phenomenal. It's a little bit difficult to, you know, pick the meat off of this fish head, but when you do get a nice piece, it is certainly rewarding because that meat from that fish is so ridiculously tender and this stew is phenomenal. So we had a great time just watching them prepare the stew out back and now it's on our table and we're gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. Okay guys, we just finished off with one of the most incredible meals of my life. That was a food experience. I will certainly not be forgetting that anytime soon. And as you can see now, this place is absolutely packed. This is one of the most popular spots in all of Jai City, if not the most popular. So this place is called Lin Song Ming and I'll leave some directions down below so you guys can find it. I definitely recommend. It's worth the pilgrimage just coming down to Jai City to try this fish head soup. One of the best dishes I've had here in Taiwan. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have in the comment section and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.